Uh, I want to hand out a couple of thank yous before we get moving. Uh, thank you to Timis Moon. And a big thank you for my friend MC Lars and for Rob. And we have two friends who are here tonight who are in a band. They were uh, not on the bill because I didn't know they were going to be here. They're in the crew. Uh, but our friend Valerie over there and our friend Abby up there. And they are in a band called Abby Death. What was that band called? You're going to go to band camp, aren't you? And you're going to download a shitload of songs by Abby Death. Come on. For you people, this is the least you can do for the hand. I would like to thank the state of New Jersey, which is my second favorite state in America. I've been, I've been reading weird New Jersey since I was like this tall. So it's, I am a little pissed at you people for dropping Dr. Oz on our doorstep. <laughs> Jesus, how the fuck that guy got through medical school? I don't know. I think he was in the audience at Oprah, and then there were like medical degrees under everybody's chair. Like, you get a medical degree, and you get a medical degree. Uh, and I want to give a, a big bit of applause here uh, for everybody who, like myself, got really fat during the pandemic. Give, give yourself a round of applause. Because that is something, that is a fucking major accomplishment. I grew up watching apocalypse movies, shit like Mad Max. There are no fat motherfuckers in Mad Max. The worst you can say is Mel Gibson is an anti-Semite. Yes, he is, but you know. And I'd rather be fat than be an anti-Semite, I will tell you that. I'm gonna throw in a fuck Mel Gibson, there we go. Um, Walking Dead, no fat mo I haven't watched Walking Dead since like two minutes into season one, but no fat motherfuckers in Walking Dead either. We made it through an apocalypse, and we got fat. We did the smart thing. We looked out the window and said, fuck this shit. I'm going to sit inside, I'm going to day drink, and I'm going to watch horror movies. Has anybody here, there's a, there's a man, you've probably heard of him, Boy Harsher, a great band called Boy Harsher. Please tell me you've heard of Boy Harsher. If you haven't heard of Boy Harsher, you people are dead to me. Um, and they have a movie called The Runner, which is a weird sort of like, I guess it's about 40 minutes long, it's a little vampire film. You people would like it because it's got like lots of blood and nudity. There's, by nudity, I mean if you tilt your head just the right way, you can see something going on there. But it's a really, really, really good movie. And go home tonight, anybody heard Shudder? Shudder the, Shudder, sh I can't live without Shudder. Shudder got me through the pandemic. Go home, bring up The Runner by Boy Harsher and watch it like a dozen times. I've watched this movie like 35 times. I bring this up because I have watched this violent movie with maybe a little bit of nudity. I'm still, I still swear you can see something if you just do that. And I've watched this a bunch of times and I'm still a good person. I haven't done anything to anybody. And yet, Charles Manson, made it through one listening of the White Album and said, I'm going to kill some people. I'm going to split their heads open. <laughs> and this makes me think the Beatles are dangerous. <laughs> and then Disney, a channel I really don't want, but Disney, the, the guy who ruined The Hobbit by putting sandworms in it and shit and making it like 27 hours long, he made an eight hour long Beatles documentary, which is like... I don't know, seven hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds more than, than any I wanted the Beatles. But I started thinking of this. If one listen to the White Hour album turned Charles Manson into a raving maniac, what are eight hours of the fucking Beatles going to do to people? They showed that shit to children on Disney! <laughs> next time somebody starts complaining about the crime rate, like, oh my god, oh my god, I've got the next store app. The next store app is like, is like, uh, um, it's basically Twitter for racists. And it's, uh, oh my god, there's a colored man in our neighborhood. It's, uh, it's, I'm not joking, that is literally what the next door app is like. But anyway, next time somebody starts complaining, like, oh my god, the crime rate is so, so bad. Just say, like, well, yeah, they're showing eight hours of the Beatles on, on Disney. I'm surprised more people aren't getting murdered. I, I put bars on my windows because people are watching that. I fear the Beatles. I'm just going to get in my car and get the hell out of town before some Beatles fan kills me. What? You got a car? I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yes, I do. What kind of car do you got? Well, I have a bitchin' Camaro. Bitchin' Camaro, bitchin' Camaro. I ran my neighbor. Bitchin' Camaro, bitchin' Camaro.